What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So the Terrifier 3 teaser trailer has dropped and we got some other things I'm going to talk about. But that trailer, teaser trailer has dropped and it was indeed another teaser trailer because it was a tad underwhelming. It's also, however, quite effective and still gets you on the edge in anticipation of what is to come. The underwhelming aspect just comes down to the down to me being ready for the full trailer. A lot of us are already familiar with Art the Clown. But I get they're trying to appeal to not just the people who are familiar with Art the Clown, but those people who probably haven't watched the first two Terrifiers. And maybe they'll go out and watch the first two and then they'll venture out to watch this third one because of the fact that the teaser is not giving too much away. It's building intrigue and curiosity around this individual dressed as a sadistic clown. But this footage confirms several things like the tension that exists between Sienna and her uncle Greg. All in all, I thought it was a fine teaser, definitely effective. We got some quick cuts of what to expect while Silent Night played throughout and Art made a blood angel dressed as Santa Claus. I also enjoyed how the Silent Night song became more sinister towards the end. Definitely set a mood and gave me everything. Of course, we've come to know and love about this terrifying entity known as Art the Clown. <laughs> so it started with a black frame, but Sienna slowly becomes visible in the shot walking towards the camera. We see quick flashes of Art dressed as Santa before Sienna turns around. It seems to be a dream sequence of sorts. Speaking of this, that quick flash of her in the darkness must be correlated to another bit of information I dropped earlier this year. Remember, there's this section of the film where Sienna is keeping a journal of nightmares. That's something she's doing apparently in this film. She keeps having a dream about being chained in this place she calls the cell. It's dark and it's dingy. Victoria's disfigured appearance is shown at one point during this teaser. Now, at another point, if this is also her, she crawls out of a tub of blood. Sienna is shown arguing in the kitchen with her Uncle Greg, which is a further confirmation of what I was saying about Uncle Greg. He thinks Sienna is a threat to his daughter because of her mental instability. So that's definitely got to be why they are arguing. A shot of art in the mall as Santa is shown. He's holding his arms out with a big smile and just looks like the most sadistic, sinister version of Saint Nick you've ever seen. Now, the trailer does seem, the teaser trailer, does seem to confirm a major kill or two. Let me explain. Remember that character sheet we got earlier this year? Well, two people seem to be getting axed off together via a chainsaw, and it will now appear clear to us why we are going to have a shower sequence, or at least why a shower sequence was highlighted in these character descriptions. So the characters that are going to be killed in the shower appear to be characters named Cole and Mia, his girlfriend. Cole, 18 to 22 years of age, he's male, open ethnicity. Cole is Jonathan's college roommate, the cool guy to Jonathan's nerd, the bro. Cole and his girlfriend Mia have a big, loud energy when they are together that can be magnetic or turn sinister and obnoxious. This role requires a shower scene of intimate nature, nature and partial nudity. Now, it also goes on to describe Mia, who was described as also being from the ages of 18 to 22 years. Female, open ethnicity, Mia is Cole's girlfriend, a cute, fun, popular college girl with a bit of a mean streak. Mia and Cole have a big, loud energy when they are together that can be magnetic or turn sinister and obnoxious. The role requires a shower scene of intimate nature and partial nudity. So during the teaser trailer, Cole and Mia must be the two in the bloody shower sequence that's highlighted who are getting it on as Art saws into their fun time. A detail only us sleuthers could catch, of course, but at least now we know why there was such significance for a shower sequence mentioned in both character descriptions. And now that I think about it, I believe Art is making blood angels from their blood towards the end of this footage while a foot <laughs> lays not too far from him. Actually, let's even take this a step further. Producer Philip Falcone posted this image a while back, and now the two stars with him are Alexa Blair and Mason Mark. Mark McCardia. Now, the only reason I know that is because they left comments in his in the comment section of this photo. So I say that and bring this up to point out that the girl in the shower, at least to me, looks like Alexa. So I wouldn't be shocked if the dude is Mason. So my bet is they must be playing Jonathan's roommate Cole and the girlfriend Mia. Doesn't seem to have to. Well, it says they're supporting roles, but I don't think they're going to be of much significance. They're just here to die and be part of the part of the body count part of the carnage for art the clown but we're now going to dive into talking about something else with terrifier 3 that we got today 
So we also got this cool new teaser poster or poster for the film that released this morning alongside the trailer. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this art looks fairly similar to the art of Sam Hain 1992. For those of you familiar with Sam Hain, they do tremendous work. And I think this is their 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 artwork. I, I, at least I think it's them. If, if it is you, shout out to you because this is a big deal. The poster looks phenomenal. Uh, obviously, it's art with Victoria sitting in his lap. And they just look as evil and sinister as ever. They've got an axe to, I guess, who would have been the OG Santa sitting in that chair. He's, of course, no longer with us, judging from this poster. Let's us know that the film is dropping on October 11th. And yeah, this poster is great. <laughs> One of the best posters I've seen in quite a while for a horror film that is themed around Christmas, I might add. So I cannot wait to see what all comes of Terrifier 3. Hopefully it is something that lives up to the hype and anticipation that all of us have for the film. And hopefully when it comes to how they explore and dig deeper into Art the Clown, it's not something that is something that isn't, I guess, upsetting to, to fans of the IP and people who are in the mindset of less is more because you definitely can go down the wrong path when you start telling us certain details that could have been kept in the dark especially if said details are not to everyone's liking and you start chip away chipping away at the mystique surrounding your entity that's supposed to be menacing and terrifying you don't want to reveal a certain detail that starts to make said entity look like a complete joke but i trust damien leone and his vision and whatever we get from terrifier 3 someone also pointed out on twitter a few days ago or at least asked him will the soundtrack for terrifier 3 be the same amazing vibe that 2 had and he said both when when they asked if it have the amazing synth music that was there or is it going to be a different vibe and he said both so that makes me excited for the score because i think when it comes to the score in terrifier 2 that was one of the greatest aspects of the film definitely heightened a lot of the sequences and the emotions that were supposed to be felt throughout those sequences so i am looking forward to seeing what terrifier 3 offers us i think he has also teased a potential fourth movie i don't really know how i feel about that i am definitely someone of the mind who would say if you have an endpoint in mind, and if four is his endpoint, then so be it. But if four is something, I, I think in the past he's talked about it in the in the sense that he has a fourth movie plan. Not that he hopes to do a fourth one, but that the material for Terrifier three, I think he has stated. I could be remembering his words incorrectly, but I think he stated the material for three was too much. And he built a fourth movie from the leftovers that aren't going to make it into Terrifier 3. So if there is a fourth movie that we get, I trust that he has it planned out. But I also will say that if you are someone who is not planning your fourth movie, then maybe it's time to start planning the fourth film. But like I said before, I'm pretty certain he's already put down a comment or put out a comment about too much material being present in the script for three and that's going to give us material to carry into the fourth film that we inevitably ultimately i think will get because terrifier three should be one of the biggest box office successes for a horror film this year just going off of what the second film was able to do in theaters so there's no doubt in my mind that we will get a fourth movie and i trust that he again has mapped out his end game and i don't think we will see anything further from terrifier 4 unless he again has already started mapping out something beyond terrifier 4 but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below what did you think about the teaser trailer what do you think about the poster if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video